Hi, Carl DeStefano here. Um, well, uh, I've got this great tune, April in Paris. <clears throat> it was written in 1932 with music by Vernon Duke and lyrics by Yip Harburg. And they wrote it for the Broadway musical Walk a Little Faster. And the song became a <clears throat> extremely important jazz standard it was recorded by just about every jazz musician and vocalist that ever walked the planet. Uh, Secondhand Songs website listed 316 recorded versions of April in Paris. And Wikipedia has a ton of really great information on the song. <clears throat> um, I'll just mention a few things. Uh, Count Basie had a 1955 recording that was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. And the famous composer Alec Wilder, who uh, is uh, well known for documenting the great American songs in his definitive book, American Popular Song, The Great Innovators, 1900 to 1950, uh, he called <clears throat> April in Paris the perfect song. Uh, and there's just countless recordings of it. Um, <clears throat> my favorite of all recordings I've ever heard of this song is <clears throat> on a 1956 album entitled Ella and Lewis. Um, it's a um, a studio album recorded in 1956 or released in 1956 um, and <clears throat> it's Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong uh, singing and Louis playing some trumpet too and but they're backed up by <clears throat> Oscar Peterson on piano, Herb Ellis on guitar, Ray Brown on bass and Buddy Rich on drums and it's just a great album uh, the, the musicians are just playing so tasty, you know, just to back up these two famous uh, uh, singers and musicians. And, <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, Ella was born in 1917, so she would have been 39 years old at the time that this was made. And I'm guessing that could have been the peak of her career based on the, just the sheer lush beauty of her, of her voice on, the, on this particular album songs are really nice too great selection so I would recommend that uh, performance of April in Paris which is sung by both Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong uh, and you know <clears throat> Louis Armstrong great vocalist <clears throat> he's the one that taught all the jazz singers how to sing yeah that's the way it went uh, <clears throat> and this song has special significance to me because uh, I've mentioned before that <clears throat> the last music job that I had a long time ago uh, was uh, I played string bass in uh, a uh, Buddy Graves band uh, at the Touch of Class. Buddy Graves was uh, one of the greatest jazz piano players ever to come out of Omaha, Nebraska. And um, I had the pleasure of playing with him for 10 years there every Friday night. and. Uh, uh, he always closed the night with April in Paris. <laughs> so what? I was there 10 years, 50 times, 10, 500. I, you know, I played this song at least 500 times, and it was, it was just, it was great every time we played it. And Buddy played it so well. So uh, <clears throat> I will uh, give this uh, great song a, a shot here. Thanks for listening. Okay, here we go with this really beautiful song, April in Paris. April in Paris Chestnuts in blossom A 
holiday tables. Under the trees April in Paris This is a feeling No one can ever Reprise I never knew the charm of spring Never met it face to face And I never knew my heart could sing Never missed a warm embrace till April in Paris. Now whom can I run to? What have you done to my Oh boy, what a great tune, April in Paris. <laughs>